Hello everyone, my name is Eugene and I'm the Chief Executive of the Hospital. I want to read you a story called The Littlest Elf. Bo was an elf. He lived with his family in the North Pole. There were many elves in Santa's village, but Bo was the littlest one. It was Christmas time and he was very excited. This year he would discover his special job at one of Santa's workshops. He just needed to visit each shop to see which one was the right fit. At the toy workshop where his mum worked, Bo tried to make teddy bears, but it got lost in the piles of stuffing. I think you're too little for the toy workshop, his mum said. Why don't you try helping your dad at the bicycle workshop instead? So Bo went to Santa's bicycle workshop. I'm ready to help, he said. Bo watched as the elves added wheels, seats, handlebars and bowels. But the tools were too big for his little hands. Maybe baking is your special skill. You should visit your brother at the bakery next, his dad suggested. Off Bo went to the bakery. The elves made delicious sugar plum cookies and tasty candy canes. But when Oliver tried to stir the dough, he fell into the giant mixing bowl. Bo, look out! One of the elves shouted. Sorry, Bo, his brother said. You're too little for the bakery. Bo wandered through the North Pole, feeling incredibly sad. He knew there had to be one special job he could do, even though he was little. Then he heard the sounds of hooves at the stables. Inside, Santa's reindeer had gathered to meet Sparkle, the new reindeer. She was just as little as Bo. Sparkle was very excited to help pull Santa's sleigh. She practiced for the big night by jumping, hopping and leaping. But she could not fly. She was just too little and this made her sad. Bo wanted to cheer her up. He dug in his pockets for a treat but instead found little trinkets, each from the workshop he had visited. This gave him an idea. Bo and Sparkle used the trinkets to make ornaments, cards and fun decorations for the hard-working elves in the village. The littlest elf and the littlest reindeer filled the sleigh with their Christmas treats. They delivered the gifts to all the workshops and the elves loved their special presents. Santa came to see what all the fuss was about. He watched as Bo and Sparkle made everyone smile and suddenly he had an idea. Bo and Sparkle, with your big hearts and Christmas cheer, won't you be my very important helpers this year? Bo and Sparkle had found their special job after all, but more importantly, they had each found a special friend. I wish you all a very happy Christmas.